The film begins with a mention that 25 years ago one of the best racing simulators was created, which was named Gran Turismo. Teenager Jan Mardenborough lives in Cardiff with his parents and brother. He is passionate about online racing. Jan works as a clothing salesman in a shopping center. He has finally saved enough money to buy a new gaming steering wheel. Jan's father, Steve, is not enthusiastic about his son's hobby. He wants Jan to concentrate on his studies so that he doesn't end up working as a laborer like himself in the future. Meanwhile, Danny Moore from Nissan's marketing department arrives in Tokyo. To promote the company, he has an idea of organizing competitions for gamers on real cars. The management agrees to support Danny's initiative, but they need to find a certified engineer that can guarantee safety. Danny manages to persuade his old acquaintance Jack Salter to teach gamers how to safely drive racing cars at the GT Academy. Jan's account in the gaming cafe has the best score in Gran Turismo. He receives an invitation to participate in the competition. Jan wins and qualifies for training at the GT Academy. He is getting ready for camp. The top 10 esports players from different countries begin training under the leadership of Jack. Gradually, weaker players leave the camp. The final race consists of five participants. Jan wins with a fraction of a second advantage. To obtain a racing driver's license and Nissan's sponsorship, he must make it to the top four in one of the European series races. Due to dirty driving by one of the competitors, Jan, who was leading, eventually finishes 27th in the race in Austria. The next race takes place in Germany. Jan works on his physical fitness. He finishes 23rd. In Italy, Jan finishes 17th. In Istanbul, he takes 8th place. But in Spain, Jan can't even finish. In a tense race in Dubai, Jan manages to take 4th place and finally gets his racing license. The team travels to Japan, where Jan meets the creator of Gran Turismo and signs a contract with the Nismo racing team. The next competition takes place on the world's most challenging track in Germany. Jan gets into a horrific accident. He survives, but one of the spectators dies due to the strong wind being a contributing factor. Jan is not at fault, but he is deeply affected. Jack tells Jan that after a collision with his car, one of the racers died. Jack was not at fault either, but he retired after that. Jack believes Jan is a great racer and wishes him to continue developing his talent. This terrible incident doesn't define who Jan is, but his response to the situation will. To participate in the main race in Le Mans, two more GT Academy participants arrive to form a team. Jan's parents come to France to support him. Steve is proud of his son and acknowledges that his hobby and passion have brought him success. The race will last for 24 hours. The Nismo drivers, who have repeatedly practiced this track in the simulator, agree to participate for 3 hours each. After the accident of one of the cars, Jan struggles to continue, but gathers himself and makes up for lost time. The next day the race nears its end. Jan is ready to finish. Using overtaking skills he learned during online races, Jan moves up to the front. In the end, the Nismo team takes third place, shocking everyone. Gamers defeat professional racers. At the end of the film it is mentioned that Jan Mardenborough, now a professional racer, served as a stunt driver during filming.